tell them daughter, I am here and I hear all and I see all. This season which has begun is like no other before it. I have placed you, my created beings in a finite and limited time and space in order to fulfill my design. Surely now however, it is clear. You are coming to the end of the age, the end of the ways of man. I have allowed man to gain knowledge and understanding, and advance in ways that were never part of my original design. Although I have offered mankind so much more and a wisdom and revelation which is in me, limitless and eternal, man has chosen the things of this world that only lead to spiritual death. In the quest to achieve superiority and power, mankind has walked away from the true source of all that could be attained through an intimacy with me, his creator. Therefore, it is time for me to completely release my protection from the chaos and darkness that exists outside of me. Light and dark will never occupy the same space, and a great separation is occurring. As I draw those who walk with me closer to my heart, I also now release those who desire darkness more than light, lies more than truth, spiritual death more than eternal life. Do not question the motives of the one and only true Creator. My ways are not your ways. The just will suffer with the unjust, but my plan for the salvation of many is perfect. Your cries are heard in my kingdom, and I am sending help from my sanctuary. As my judgments fall and the world plunges into darker times, many will cry to me for help, many who previously did not find need for me in their lives. Many also will cry out to me in anger and in despair, as they have not learned of the complete nature of the great I am. I urge all of my creation to know each aspect of me. I have spoken of this in the past. I am light but I have also created the darkness. I wish all would love me and serve me, but I force no one. I give but I also take away. I cause the rain and I withhold it. I am with the humble and contrite of heart, the joyful and the obedient, and I also sit with you in the ashes and weep when you weep. I suffered while on this earth, and I allow sufferings for your greater faith and greater maturity in me. But it is always a choice. You can scream where is God? In the midst of your tragedies, or you can offer me your pain, your heart, and your cares, and ask me to use these for the greater good of all. You will not completely understand my plan for humanity until it is fully revealed, and so I ask you to trust me. Regardless of what things look like in the natural. Let go of your mindsets and set your eyes on things above. No suffering here can compare to the glory that will be revealed. I am in all things I allow the judgments I am the very fabric of all that exists as there is no other but me. I alone came in the flesh, the divine manifested here, to do a great work in and through you. Since no one but me got up from the grave, would you just trust me in this last hour? I will give you strength for the battle, daughter, because my son lives in you, and you in my son, you walk in the fullness of all that belonged to him when he walked this earth. You are one in us, created in our image, therefore, you must apply the same responses to every situation, just as he did. He stills walks in this realm, as he is ever present in the hearts of my people. Your position and your responsibility is to awaken and receive the revelation, that our authority is your authority here. Because my son reigns in your hearts here, you reign in the physical realm and have come here to exercise this kingdom power and authority to a lost and dying world. Tell my people, this great battle that is here can and will only be fought with my spirit and the complete manifestation of all that I am in and through your hearts here. The battle has already been won, as you know. It is simply for you to display the great I am here in this realm, by speaking and walking in my truths. Since I am the word, and I am enthroned upon your hearts, my word is the sword that pierces the hearts and souls of men, dividing asunder and convicting even unto the darkest of places. My word is alive and my word will never come back to me void. I cannot stress the importance enough of having my scripture written upon your hearts and allowing these, my truths to be the only response to all that comes your way. The answers to everything you encounter and to every soul I send to you can be found in my holy word. When spoken, my Holy Spirit is activated in performing the work He is designed to do. Great, great evil is upon you, 
and there is only one response that can save you. Proclaim my scriptures boldly, speak my truths, allow my river of life to proceed out from your bellies as it flows directly from my throne. My word and the my promises are the only truths that exist in all things ever created, therefore, it is only these truths that will stand at this end of this age. Great manifestations will be the result of all those walking in obedience to my will and my commandments. Examine your hearts each day to ensure you are walking in my ways, so your lives reflect your Father and Creator. You must not hold anger or bitterness, unforgiveness, lust or envy in your hearts at any time. Pray that I will pour out the full measure of all that I am, and the full measure of faith that has been purposed for you as you draw closer to the fulfillment of all things. Your steps are ordered and you never walk this path alone. I am the father of lights and the giver of all good things to my children. I never withhold all that I am from those that I love and who love me and keep my ways. He that dwells in the secret place of the, the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You will say of me, He is my refuge and my fortress, in you alone will I trust. Your truth will be my shield and buckler. I will not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Because the Father of all creation dwells within me, and I have him as my habitation, no evil will befall me. Just as I poured out my spirit and great strength to my son in the garden to prepare him for the most difficult time in his journey on earth, so also shall I not do the same for you as you are one in my son? I will pour out from the storehouses of heaven, blessing upon blessing, fruit that will be multiplied, strength for the battle, faith that moves mountains, unsurpassable peace and joy from my heart, and a powerful anointing that will remain with you until you join me for all eternity. Rejoice this day, as you see evil closing in, as this means the culmination of all things is upon you, and sooner than you would imagine, I will bring you home. Rejoice also in that you are the chosen generation that will bring in the last harvest before I send my son back to triumph as the Lion of Judah, and all men shall know that the great I am lives forever, and there is no one like me, nor will there ever be. My loves, do not be weary, for I am pouring out. I am pouring out upon you in great measure and with the fullness of all I am. Prepare to receive all of me. My love for you has no bounds. Beloved ones, I care so for each one of you. You are my priests and my kings, because you have embraced my Son in your hearts. Soon you will see how great my love is for you. Be strong my loves, have courage. The great I am lives in you.